There are a couple of different ways that you can add modifiers in Metasoft. The first way is just by entering the modifier under the M1 column in transaction entry. And if there is additional modifiers that you need to enter in, you may need to add those additional columns, modifier 2, modifier 3, and modifier 4 through the grid columns window. The way you do that is by clicking on this black dot to the left of the word date. And that opens up your grid columns window. And from here, click on add fields. This is in alphabetical order, so you just need to scroll down until you find your additional modifier columns. You can highlight multiple ones by clicking on the first one and then holding down the shift key and then clicking on the last one. Then click OK once you've made your selections. Click OK again and you'll see your additional modifier columns off to the right. If you need to move these over, just click and drag on them and then slide them over. And now you have those fields active so you can enter in additional modifier codes. The other way is to add a modifier as a default for whenever you select a certain procedure code. You can do this by clicking on Lists, Procedure, Payment Adjustment Codes, or just right click on an existing procedure code and then click on Edit Procedure. And then you'll see these default modifier fields down here. And then just enter in your codes that you want to use up to four and then click on save and every time you use this procedure code these modifiers would automatically get filled in in transaction entry so that's how you add modifiers in Metasoft hey thanks for watching hope you liked the video and found it helpful if you did let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below if you have any comments questions or suggestions feel free to write those in the comment section below and if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!